Humankind has been counting things since the beginning of time. Fingers, bones, and pebbles were used to count a small number of things. Ancient people used stones to keep a record of the number of livestock the tribe owned. When we need to count a large number of items in multiple events, we use the fundamental counting principle. The fundamental counting principle says that when there are m ways to do one thing and n ways to do another, then there are m times n ways of doing both. Example. You have three pairs of pants and two shirts. How many possible combinations of outfits are there? We can draw a tree diagram to work out the number of possible outcomes. The tree diagram shows us that there are 3 times 2, which is equal to 6 possible combinations of outfits. Using the fundamental counting principle, we can quickly work out that there are 3 times 2 different outfits. Therefore, there are 6 combinations, exactly the same answer as using the tree diagram. The fundamental counting principle also works when you have more than two choices. Example, if you're buying a new car, there are two body styles, sedan or hatchback. There are five colors available, dark blue, gray, red, black, and light blue. There are three models available, standard, S, sports, IS, and luxury, SL. How many different models are there? You can draw a tree diagram and work out the number of choices. From the tree diagram we can see that there are 30 different models of the car available. We could also work out the number of models using the fundamental counting principle. The number of different models is equal to the number of styles times the number of colors times the number of models, which is equal to 2 times 5 times 3, which equals 30. In the previous example, there were a different number of options for each choice. But what happens when the number of choices is unchanged each time you choose? The fundamental counting principle also works when choices can be repeated. Example 1. Counting with repetition. A bank card requires a five-digit personal identification number, PIN. How many possible PINs are there if digits can be repeated and all ten digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, can be used? As can be seen from the diagram, there are 10 possible digits that can be used for the first digit. There are 10 possible digits that can be used for the second digit, and so on. The number of different 5-digit pins is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. This can be written as 10 to the power of 5 or 100,000. When repeats are allowed, you find the total number of events by multiplying the number of possible outcomes in each stage of an event. Example 2. Counting without repetition. A bank card requires a five-digit PIN number. How many PINs are there if the digits cannot be repeated and all ten digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 can be used. The digits may not be repeated. As can be seen from the diagram, if the first digit is 1, then 1 cannot be used in the other four places. This means that there are 9 possible digits that can be used for the second digit, and so on. The number of different five-digit pins is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 
times 7 times 6, which equals 30,240. When repeats are not allowed, you find the total number of outcomes by multiplying the number of possible outcomes that are left in each stage of an event.